Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be sharing another Amazon favorites video. You guys loved when I did this before. I shared one back in January, I believe. So I will link that one up above and I'll also link it down below. Everything that I share today will be linked below and it will also be part of my Amazon favorites on the site. But I wanted to go ahead and do this again because you guys have been asking me for another one. So how things make it into my Amazon favorites is I will actually order these items and then I'll go back and look through all of my orders and find things that I really did love that I think that you guys would be interested in seeing. Everything that I'm going to share today will also be linked down below in case if you are interested in ordering it as well. But without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so the first item I'm going to share is something that I have been loving lately and I'm kind of late to the whole wet brush game, but I got my hair done a few months back and I was able to use one of these wet brushes when I got my hair done and I loved it. So this one is a little bit different design. It has kind of like a curve to it and it's also ventilated. I don't know if like all of the wet brushes are ventilated like this, but it makes it really easy to brush your hair while you're blow drying your hair and it just kind of lets all the air flow through that. And it also, I mean, I know this is what br wet brushes do, but it just does not snag your hair very much. And so I love this. This one actually comes in a two pack and it is called a Wet Brush Pro. So I will go ahead and link this one below, but this is one of my favorites. I also purchased this one and this one is, I believe, called a Wet Brush Flex. And the reason for that is because it flexes. So this one I found is my favorite when it's like totally wet hair and I can just brush this right through and then it just flexes and it really does not pull your hair at all. And then this is the one that I really like using when I'm actually like blow drying my hair or styling my hair. So I think they're both amazing. The black one does have a bit bigger of like surface area but I do love that this one has the flex, so they are both good options. This one comes in a two-pack on Amazon, and then this one is just by itself. They are both amazing, though. I love them. All right, the next item that I'm going to be sharing is something that I found several months ago, actually through a bunch of you guys. I had mentioned in one of my videos that I didn't like putting my hair up too much because every time I put my hair up, then you have that ring and that kink in your hair, and you guys all recommended these to me. Like, I probably had... 10 or 15 of you guys message me or comment and let me know these are what I needed. So these are called the Invisibobble. You can get them in a lot of different colors. So you can get them in like packs of three, packs of 10 I believe, but they are amazing. And honestly, I can say I can put my hair up. I will take it down and go throughout the rest of my day and you never knew that I had my hair up. I think because there's not like one straight line, it's like always, it's just so curvy. I don't know. It's amazing though. If you have long hair, if you love to put your hair up and then you feel like you can't take it down after that, you need the Invisibubble. One quick tip that I also learned from you guys, I learned a lot of things from you guys. You guys are amazing. But one quick tip is when you do have it in your hair or you have it on your wrist, you can definitely see the size difference and it doesn't really shrink back down. But if you just put some heat on it, it will shrink back down. So what I do is after I use it, I'll just go ahead and blow dry a few of them and they shrink right up. So another quick little tip, but these things are amazing. They are serious game changers. This was recommended to me by one of you when I was looking for like a face cleanser and I ordered several of them because you guys recommended different ones. And so I've been kind of trying these ones out, but this one has been hands down my very favorite. It is the Derma E Purifying Daily Detox Scrub with Activated Charcoal. So this one is darker in color. I don't know if you can kind of see that, but it does have like a little bit of that activated charcoal color. The thing that I really like about this is it feels, it doesn't make your skin feel like squeaky clean or anything like, like actually like rubbery, you know? I don't know if you know what I mean, but there are some cleansers, it feels like it strips everything off of your face and it just, 
it doesn't feel natural. It doesn't feel good. This one does not do that. And it also has a very gentle exfoliant in it, just little tiny beads. So it's something that you can use every day. I don't feel like it's too abrasive at all, but it does kind of rub away that dead skin. And so this one has been helping, I feel like with the adult acne that I've been going through lately. It's not something that I usually feel like I have to struggle with that much, but the last few months has been kind of a struggle for me, to be honest. So this one has just been something that I've just really been loving. Really good, it's a good one. All right, this next item is something that I've actually shared in the past and I get a lot of questions from you guys about my eyelashes, like what products I use. So this is one that I've shared before and I absolutely love it. So it's actually the Unique Moodstruck 3D Lashes, I believe it's called, but it has two parts. It has the transplanting gel and then it has the natural fibers. So first you put on this black transplanting gel and then you will put on these little fibers and then you seal it all in again with the transplanting gel. I feel like this gives you really good coverage on your eyelashes and it's not a really heavy formula. It doesn't seem to like kind of weigh them down and make them more flat again. It just lets them stay curled. It also lasts all day long. A lot of the mascaras I use, they like look really good for the first hour or two and then it starts to sink and then like you can definitely tell at the end of the day that you put this on like 10 hours ago. This stuff stays, it's really good. So this is the stuff that I swear by, I think it's the best. So I have seen Amazon carry this and sell it for around $10 and recently I've seen them go up to maybe like a little bit over $15. I still feel like it's worth it just because of how good it looks and if you're wanting to kind of have like that more false lashes look but not crazy and you don't want to do actual extensions and you also don't want to put on like fake lashes then I think this is your best bet. It's really amazing. I think this stuff is awesome. However, I will say if you want to go even more budget friendly, this is some new stuff that I found recently. It is from Essence and it's called False Lash Mascara. This one is Extreme Volume and Curl, however they do have a bunch of different ones. I have gotten some of the other ones, but I haven't gotten through this one to actually try the other ones. I just keep using this one. So this one I feel is a little bit different than the previous mascara that I showed you. I feel like the, I feel like the unique ones are very, very sleek. It doesn't leave your lashes looking clumpy in the slightest and it also has that really really durable like long all day last. However, this one is $4.99. You can also pick this up at Ulta but you can also get it on Amazon and it's the same price. So I just pick my mind up at Amazon because it's too convenient. <laughs> But this stuff is pretty amazing. It's just one coat and you're done. It has like a nice curved applicator, which makes it really nice to apply to your lashes. However, I will say that if you're not careful with this one, it can look a little bit clumpy. So you just wanna go really nice and slow, but this one will give you like a fake lash look. So it will definitely help, especially if you're kind of like not starting with a lot of lashes. I think this is a really good one. And like I said, it is under $5. You cannot beat this one. So I would highly suggest getting this one for sure. And if you're okay to spend a little bit more, I would suggest the other one as well. All right, so kind of sticking to like the personal slash lifestyle stuff, this is actually something that I have shared before, but I constantly get comments, even in like old videos, I'll get random comments from you guys like wondering what my leggings are that I always wear in my videos and that I pretty much wear every day unless if I decide to wear jeans for some reason. But they are amazing. All of my leggings are exactly the same. So if you guys have ever seen LuLaRoe leggings or if you've ever tried them out, they are the most comfortable, softest, stretchiest, like they just feel amazing. I fell into the whole LuLaRoe thing for a while and I was on the search for those black leggings that are really hard to find. They're also like 25 bucks each. I do think that they are worth it because they last and they are very high quality. Like they're very, very nice leggings. However, they are so hard to get your hands on. And I found these ones, I tried them, and immediately ordered like four more pairs. I was hooked. These are the softest, most amazing, and affordable leggings. And they honestly last because I wear them all the time. And I haven't, I don't think I've had any of them like get holes or anything, or like get really like washed out or anything. I just think they're really nice quality. So I will link these down below. I don't know if I have like a brand on these ones, but 
they are just amazing. They're also high-waisted, so they're very forgiving, and they have that thick yoga band. I could just go on and on about these leggings, but do yourself a favor and get some. They're amazing. All right, so moving on, the next thing that I'm going to share with you guys is something that I just use on a daily basis. So I love my This Crazy Life tumblers. I use them all the time. I will link those down below as well if you guys are interested in those. But this is a new one that I got and I like this one because it's a little bit bigger. The This Crazy Life tumblers are 20 ounces, which are awesome, but sometimes I just want a little bit bigger one. And so this one is 32 ounces. I believe it comes in different colors, but how pretty is that marble? So gorgeous. So it does come with a straw, or you can go ahead and just drink it like that. You can use this with hot liquids. I always just put my water in here and just drink it on the go. It's very nice quality, and you can just put ice in here, and it will last until the next day. It's amazing. So I highly recommend this. It's, it's a really good one. And it's also a slim 32-ounce tumbler, so it's not like really bulky down here to hold. It's a little bit taller and a little bit slimmer. I just, I love everything about this one. So cute. All right, the next items are a repeat that I've shared in the past. I've bought these several times, but anytime I show them my videos, I always get questions about them, and I just feel like these are worth repeating. So we use mason jars for drinking jars. I think they're amazing. You can get them in all different sizes. You can just put a lid on them, and they're good to go. And then I also got these little lids. They are plastic and they come in different colors, four different colors, and they have a straw hole right there. So we use these all the time, whether our kids want a cup of water and they're going to be drinking it in a different room other than the kitchen, or if I take something to go, or if I make a shake in a big mason jar, I just can screw this on and take it to go with me. Also, anytime we have smoothies, I never give them to my kids without having a jar, and I hate having like, a bunch of different things in our kitchen, like a bunch of different times, types of cups or a bunch of different sippy cups or anything like that. So these are amazing for that just because you can just have one of these and then get like a reusable straw or you can use the plastic straws if that's what you use and you're good to go. These are incredible. I love them so much. I rave about them all the time. I use them every day. If you have mason jars, you definitely need to get yourself a few of these. Okay, these next items are ones that I have been getting for a really long time. They actually just changed up their packaging. These ones are Keep It Fresh produce bags. Honestly, they have a bunch of different ones on Amazon. And I don't necessarily know if like one is like better than the other, but I will link these ones below. They are very affordable. I believe it's around $9 and it gives you 30 of them. You can also reuse them. So what I usually do, is I will put all of our produce in these bags and then... I will just wash them out and dry them and then do use them again and again and again and eventually like if they end up tearing or something happens like that where I can't really use them then you can just throw them away but they are definitely reusable for a very long time so I think it's a very affordable way to do it and it really does help prolong the freshness of your produce so I definitely think that it can save you money in the end if you're not throwing out extra produce but these are what they look like these are just a gallon size and they are amazing I love these. All right, the next item that I got is something that I got several months ago, and I feel like it's been making a big difference with our produce again. So what I'll do is I will keep all of our produce that is not prepped out in one of these little bags, and then I will actually lay these down in like our crisper drawers, and I will just set the produce right on top. They're just like a very, very porous, I don't know. I don't really know how to explain this. They're like a very porous, like, foam mat almost. I don't know. I don't know what it is about it, but it definitely helps them stay fresher longer. Let me give you guys a close up and see if you can kind of see what they look like. So this next item that I have is this little battery powered milk frother. I feel like you can use it for a lot of different things. You can use it for like teas or coffee or just honestly anything that you need to mix up but it's really nice it's super compact it doesn't take up a whole lot of space in your drawer it was very affordable which is honestly why i decided to go ahead and get it but kyle and i started adding like cream and stuff into our teas and i was like i just don't feel like it mixes very well when you just stir it up so i went ahead and got one of these and we have been loving it ever since 
it's really nice it's not too loud but it's pretty powerful and it's super convenient that it's not anything you have to plug in or charge or anything it's just battery powered I don't know if a lot of those are like this this is our first one we've ever had but definitely something that we will probably always have in our kitchen from now on okay this next item is something that you guys have probably seen a lot of times this is my letter board I love this letter board because it's really i just feel like this one is really pretty honestly it's a little bit bigger it's a neat size this one is 12 by 16 so i feel like it's a pretty big size but it's pretty nice because you can actually put a lot of like you can just put a lot on these you can fit a lot on them i hope you guys can see that but like if you look at the detailing on the edges it's like a little bit roughed up it definitely has like that farmhouse feel and vibe i'm not 100 percent sure but i think you can get a gray background i just liked the pop of like the contrast between the black and the white but I love this and it also it's super high quality it's super super sturdy and it also comes with this little holder which I thought was adorable so this just pretty much sits in my kitchen all the time you guys probably see it all the time and then if you don't want to do the holder it does have I guess I'm using this upside down so that's how it is <laughs> but um it does have a little thing that you can hook it up on your wall or you can use command strips because you know I love those. The other thing that I wanted to mention about this, these letters do not come with this letter board. The letter board comes with some letters and like some other little things. I think it has like days of the week and like the months and stuff and they have them in different colors that it comes with. So it has like a pink and a green, I want to say yellow, maybe a blue, and then I think white. So it actually does come with a lot of different colors or a lot of different letters, but these letters are kind of like some Ray Dunn inspired letters that I got from Words With Means. So these guys are on Etsy. They also have an Instagram page and I do believe I have a code down below. I wanna say it's Crazy Life 10. I'm not 100% sure, but I will leave that down below. And I love the letters, honestly. I feel like just this combo is amazing and it's like my favorite. So I just wanted to go ahead and share that with you guys. The letters are of course not Amazon, but the letter board itself is. Okay, this next item doesn't really feel like it fits in with the rest of the things that I'm sharing with you guys, but I just wanted to go ahead and share it with you guys because it's like a weird favorite. I don't know, it's good. So it is the Oh Yuck Jetted Bathtub Cleaner. If you guys have watched my cleaning videos, you guys have, might have seen me use this. I use this in our jetted bathtub whenever I clean our master bathroom. So I'm actually like almost out. I will need to be buying another one of these, but I'm pretty sure the people that owned our house before us like never cleaned our jetted tub or anything. And this is the first time that we've ever actually had a jetted tub. So I was not really sure what to do about it. But the first time we used it, like so much gunk and everything came out of the jets. So all you do is you just fill up your jetted tub and then you dump like a fourth of this. It's not like a huge bottle, but you dump a fourth of this. So that's what we've done is we've done this like a few different times. And it does actually have little markers on here to show you like this is 12 ounces left, 8 ounces left, 4 ounces left. So you just like pour it out to those lines, which makes it convenient. But this just works really really well if you are into like those satisfying cleaning moments kind of gross things this is definitely what you want to do either way you definitely should get this if you have a jetted tub because it works really well and you just don't want all that stuff sitting in your jets all the time if you're using them so kind of gross better off to use it okay the next item I actually don't have with me because it is upstairs being used but it's our shower curtain I'm gonna overlay a picture right here so you guys can see what it looks like it's like that pleated that white pleated look and I just think it is so gorgeous I feel like it totally elevated our bathroom upstairs if you saw that video you guys know what I'm talking about if you didn't I will link it up above and down below you guys should definitely go check that one out <sighs> you want to say hi you're like not camera shy at all, huh? Yeah, silly girl. Anyway, so I had actually been looking around for different shower curtains. I felt like a lot of them were kind of pricey, like around like the $30 range. And whenever I saw this one on Amazon, I was like, that is the prettiest one I have like ever seen. So I was super excited to find it. I felt like it was a really good deal. It is a really high quality one and I just love, love, love the look of it. Okay, so another item that I got a ton of questions about whenever I did that bathroom video was the little bench. So again, I don't have the bench with me because 
that would be kind of weird to bring the whole bench down here and be like trying to get it in the camera angle. But I brought the little tiny step stool that goes in. One of my very favorite things about that bench was the fact that it actually came with a little step stool and the fact that this step stool could just slide into a little area in the bench without having to be left out all the time because honestly our boys are so little they do need a step stool all the time whenever like they brush their teeth luke's good and liam's like kind of good noah definitely needs one but i feel like we're always walking in there and stubbing our toes because the step stool is always left pushed up against the counter and so this way it's just nice that the step stool can actually get pushed back into the bench and it's just out of the way but then it's there when you need it so that was kind of like my biggest reason for wanting that little bench but i also just thought it was really cute so originally the bench comes in like a more bamboo color like just a really really light brown it didn't match our decor in there and so i ended up just spray painting this white and the spray paint that i used was rust-oleum heirloom white really it was just one coat because it was like a primer and a paint all at once and then once it was done just to kind of match the rest of our decor i actually just kind of like sanded off little areas and i kind of roughed it up just to make it look a little bit more rustic and just fit that style better but i love how it turns out and honestly i feel like it looks like it cost a lot more than it did so i just want to share this with you guys because i was getting a lot of questions about it and i just I just love when you find a really good deal and it like looks way more expensive than it was. So I'm going to share this with you guys. All right. The next item that I have to share are little bath bombs. I love getting bath bombs on Amazon because I feel like you can get really high quality ones or pretty high quality ones. At least a lot of the ones I get are organic, but you aren't paying like a crazy amount. Honestly, I feel like if you go to the store, minus if you go to Dollar Tree, but if you go to like a regular store, you're going to pay like several dollars for a bath bomb. And they're also really big ones. And our kids, it's really fun for them to take like bath bomb baths is what we call them. So I don't want to use like a really big $4 bath bomb in my kids bath. But these ones are like perfect size, I feel. And they also come in a lot of different colors. And they end up being like around a dollar a bath bomb, which just for like a fun little treat for the kids, I feel like is really fun. And they're like nice quality so you're not putting like a bunch of different chemicals and stuff in the bath with your kids so i got these ones and i will link these ones below i think these ones come in like four little boxes with like six in each so i think it comes in a pack of 24 and i've gotten those before but this last time we just decided to get something a little bit different so i got this big box honestly this was like super exciting for our kids to see this i feel like this would actually be a really awesome gift to give to somebody but look at that is that not like so pretty super pretty i feel like they smell really good you can kind of smell them through the package i think the boys have used one of them so far but we just got these the other day but they seem like they're really nice quality and again they are organic so i feel like for the money it's a really good deal and seriously like how gorgeous is that i would love if somebody gave me this but yeah we can use these for our kids because i feel like they're not too pricey they're not super huge but they are good size they're just a lot of fun. So the last item that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today is a tent. It's actually a pop-up tent. I'm not going to take it out of the, the packaging right now just because there'd be no way to keep this in the camera angle. But it basically goes down to just like a small little circle like this. And it comes with a carry case. Our kids have been loving having these pop-up tents. We've had one in years past and it ended up, I think, getting ripped or something when we were moving. So we got them another one and they just love it. It's really nice and convenient because it is a tent, but it's not overly huge because you can still use it in your house. Like the kids sleep in it all the time during the summer inside. It's just a lot of fun. It's like a built-in fort almost, but they also, like there's no, there's no assembly. Like you literally just pull it out of the packaging and you just, it pops up. It literally just pops up and it's amazing. So I would highly recommend checking these out if you have young kids because I just feel like it's so much fun and it's really easy to clean up. It's not anything that, it's just really nice, honestly, and it will entertain them for a long time. So that is everything that I have to share with you guys today. I will definitely be sharing another one of these videos once I build up enough items that I've tried out again to go ahead and share with you guys. I feel like a lot of the items that I purchase on Amazon are like repeat buys, but I just love Amazon, honestly. There's so much there, and I feel like a lot of times you can get the best deal there, so <sighs> I still have a problem. I'm working on it, but it's hard, guys. It's really hard. 
but I will have my Amazon favorites linked down below that will have all of the items. I will also have my Amazon favorites video that I shared in the past. I will have that link below if you want to see the other items that I've shared in the past. And I will have all of these links down in the description box. So you definitely want to check that out if any of these items kind of piqued your interest. But all those things will be linked for you guys. I hope that you have an amazing rest of the day. Do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. I just want to know. Anyway, so I had just been looking around at different. I just have a cat hair in my mouth. Nobody can hear me, hear me, not even when I'm crying. I need someone to save me, save me. I never know which road I'm supposed to take. Every choice I make gives me headache. I feel just like a ghost that you walk right through. I feel like a shadow.